A man accused of stealing money from Girl Scouts selling cookies outside of an Escondido grocery store has been arrested. Police chased the suspect down and our cameras caught the whole thing on camera. CBS News 8 Steve Price is live in Escondido with the dramatic video. Steve? Well, Carlo, first police saw the blinds move, then they heard the glass break. And what happened next, you have to see to believe. David Betancourt tried to get away. But as you can see in this CBS News 8 exclusive video, he didn't get very far. Can you breathe okay? Escondido police say the 21 year old is the guy. Gracie, what do you think about that? Awesome. Who stole these two Girl Scouts oh, wow. cookie dough? And he started running, grabbed it, and he was laughing toward us. Went to his car, got in, started to drive away. Gracie and her sister Zoe were selling the cookies at this Albertson Saturday. They had a donation jar out to send cookies to troops overseas. They say there was around $45 in it when Betancourt allegedly grabbed it and ran. We showed the girls Betancourt running again, this time from police and U.S. Marshals. And the sight of him in handcuffs? Oh, yes. <laughs> you see that, girls? Yeah. I told you that night. I told you that night that they would get him. Can I tell my mom real quick, sir? I, I will. I will. Uh, you know what? Not for you, but for your mom, I will. Okay? Turns out authorities were already looking for Betancourt for two outstanding warrants. Where's the video from? Now they'll be adding petty theft and resisting arrest. This is wonderful news. I know people in San Diego are going to be really excited to see that. Actually, not just people in San Diego, but all over the world. Their story went viral over the weekend, and hundreds of dollars in donations have come in. The message to Girl Scout cookie monsters? No more stealing our cookie money. Don't mess with Girl Scouts and don't mess with soldiers. Ain't that the truth? All right, Betancourt currently in the Vista jail being held on $15,000 bail. Marcella, he is scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow.